you need to have that love and you need to have that sense of belonging and that identity and that's what family does and so when you're taken away and you don't have that you're left with some uh, scars. Engagement sessions for 60 scoop survivors are kicking off across Canada starting in Montreal September 21st and with a total of 10 sessions across the country some of the 20,000 survivors are gathering to tell their stories for the first time. As a young child, not knowing where you're going, not knowing uh, who's around you and, and what the purpose and what the next day or the next week or the next month looks like. Like thousands across Canada, as a child, Florence Hilt was taken from home and placed with an adoptive family. Years later, she's spending her Saturday in a conference room at the Delta Montreal, offering her advice on how to help other survivors. I was luckily um, adopted with my older brother. So we were um, together for most of the journey. He took the brunt of the trauma. Between the 1950s and the 1990s, thousands of First Nation and Inuit children were taken from their families and placed with mostly non-Indigenous foster or adoptive parents. Over the next few months, the 60 Scoop Foundation is holding nine other meetings like this, asking survivors how they think a new foundation could help their healing. We want to take some of the, uh, what they say um, and put it into a report that will be a, a public report and that will go to the interim board and then they're going to be challenged with basically building the foundation. These sessions come more than a year after thousands of survivors settled with the federal government for $175 million, with $50 million to set up a foundation dedicated to survivor healing. And while participants like Hiltz praise the consultation efforts, no amount of money will ever be enough. I myself lost my brothers, and there's no recognition for them. Well, I'm hoping that we all kind of rise and be able to share and form our own circle of belonging, understanding and accepting, and being able to to work through some of that trauma with each other and being able to acknowledge and move on. In Montreal, Sharon Yonin Reynolds, City News.